fun. And so our Trailblazer of the Year Award recipient couldn't actually make it tonight, though, and though I don't work for her anymore, to know me is to know how much I adore our Attorney General Tish James. Um, she's the first woman elected to be New York State AG and the first woman of color elected statewide here in New York. And she's a brilliant woman who loves to hire young Dems. So special shout out to Kyle O'Leary, who is a member of our chapter of the year, the Rockland County Dems, and who makes her look really good on Twitter and in photos, brilliant photographer. Um, and though Tish couldn't make it, we wanted to give her this award because she's truly blazing a trail, as cheesy as that is, not just for New Yorkers, but for all Americans and everyone who depends on the outcome of this election. I'm pretty positive that she is the only woman that Trump is afraid of. And honestly, she's going to get his ass after she's done abolishing the NRA. So though she's not here, we didn't want to let this moment pass without giving Tish props. And I'm not sure if y'all know this, but Tish was a fan of Vice President Biden from day one. She was a little disappointed when I left to go work for, uh, for Bernie. She said, I thought you were going to hold out for, for Biden. Um, but I'm super glad to welcome our next speaker. Uh, she is the co one of the co-chairs for the New York for Biden-Harris Students and Young Professionals Group and a future Young Dems member, right, Lizzie? Please help me welcoming Lizzie Lurdy. Awesome, thank you so much, Steph. Um, and just thank you to all Young Democrats um, for partnering with us on this day of action. Um, this is a great way to close it off. And thank you to all those who attended throughout the day to phone bank. Um, as, as Steph mentioned, I'm a co-chair for New York for Biden Harris, students and professionals, um, and I am basically dedicating my life for these next uh, few weeks to just making sure I can do everything I can to make sure that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are elected on November 3rd. Um, so I'm just here to ask you guys to do more. I know you're all doing so much stuff. You're all doing great work, um, but there's just over two weeks left. So um, Noah's going to drop our website in the chat. We have phone banks happening every single day of the week. On weekends, we have all day long phone banks happening. Um, please sign up. If you're already phone making once a week, do it twice a week. If you're doing it twice a week, do it three times a week. Um, we only have just, just over two weeks to, to get the work done. So um, I'm just here to ask you to do more and just keep working hard and keep doing everything you're doing. Um, and thank you again to our, our great partnership with the Young Democrats today. And I hope uh, we can continue working together moving forward. Um, and yes, like Steph said, I will be a future Young Democrat. Um, and I just want to get you to know real quick just to plug in a few uh, special events we have coming up that we hope you guys can be a part of. Take it away, Noah. Thank you so much, Lizzie. And thank you so much, the New York State Young Dems. Truly to, to Javon and Steph and Tyler and Seamus, we could not have done this without you. You guys helped us pull this through. And to all of our wonderful, wonderful speakers, Thank you all so much. You are all so lovely and so wonderful. And I know that I feel excited and motivated to kick uh, the, these last 15 days out of the park. So thank you all so much. The phone, the, the phone banks that I put in the chat, we have a marathon all day phone bank, our New York Strong. We have our students and young professionals on Tuesday. And we, of course our website, if you're interested in anything else. But again, thank you so, so much to all the young Dems from a, from a future young Dem, Young Dem, to all of you out there, thank you so much. And uh, oh, and thank you to Mike Corbett for the, uh, the official uh, Young Dem for life. So thank you all so much. And I, I thank you all so much for coming out. All right, folks. So that, that looks like that's going to be the program. But before we close it out, I want to just do a quick special shout out to the team that made it happen once more. Um, hey, Seamus, you got the wrong person spotlighted for right now. I have to say good things about her. Um, so I just want to shout out uh, three members of the team uh, that have really helped put this all together before one of those members closes it out, closes us out today. I also want to shout out my mom, who is up way past her bedtime. I don't know what she's still doing up. Hi, mom. Love you. Uh, <laughs> Wait, which one is your mom? We want to know. Oh, uh, I, I am. Hi, mom. Hi. Oh, she is beautiful. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Don't get Melinda started, mom. <laughs> She'll be. <laughs> Hi, mom. Nice to see you. But um, I want to shout out uh, three three of the board members who have literally done everything they could to put this together. Uh, I came up with this idea on the fly and I was like, we should do something, it'd be cool. And they were like, no. But I was like, yes, 
and you, for the first time I ever, for first time ever, I got to utilize my presidential power and pass something uh, through our board. It was very hard. I'm just kidding. It was very easy. They knew what they knew what we needed to do. Uh, Tyler White, Stephanie Campagna Wheaton, and Seamus Campbell. I cannot thank you enough for getting us through this hump. Mike Corbett, Lizzie, Greg, Noah, Nye, Lauren, again. Uh, thank you as well for partnering with us and making this uh, special day possible. We're so glad we were able to help you guys out on the phone bangs, and we're thrilled that we were able to make so many calls throughout the day. So all the honorees, you guys are exceptional, and you did not need an introduction because your work speaks for itself. But I really want to go back and just highlight once again, Tyler, who's my EVP and literally the rock and soul of this organization. Uh, and behind every good rock is, a, is another rock. So shout out to Randall, uh, who is literally dancing for his, for his wife, which I appreciate. Um, again, shout out to Stephanie Campagna Wheaton, who after leaving the Bernie campaign, went right to work for Young Dems. She left us. She was like, I'm going to work for Bernie. And I said, no, don't do that. Don't leave me. And when she came back, I said, so you're ready to come back to work? <laughs> and she said, no. And then I was like, but it's for me. And she said, fine. Um, and then I handed her this. So she's already really mad at me, but she ran with it. She worked at it. She made the schedule. She called the folks. She was really the rock and the soul you know, she's the spine of this organization. Uh, she keeps us literally together. If Tyler's the heartbeat, Stephanie is the spine. And then here comes the brains. Um, Seamus Campbell, who has some of the most massive institutional knowledge of this organization. I don't think of him as a, as a uh, caucus chair. I honestly think of him as the historian of this organization because the man remembers everything and he won't let me forget a single word that I've ever said to him. He is literally a court sonographer walking, a walking court sonographer. It's insanely disturbing, but also very helpful when you're trying to prove yourself right. Um, so Steph, Tyler, and Seamus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys literally uh, keep us moving. And I'm just a face that is pretty on Zoom calls uh, and behind a microphone. You guys do the real work. I'm proud of y'all. Love y'all. All right, Tyler, shut me up and close this out. I mean, what am I even supposed to say after that? Like, you took my job. <laughs> um, but it, I would be remiss to not mention the fact that Javon, although he says he's just a pretty face, that is not, that's not all he does by any means, shape or form. Um, he's really, uh, he's really what drives us to keep doing all the things that we've been doing and coming up with ideas like, for example, this event today um, and raising us a significant amount of money. I think we raised, what, $5,000 in seven days because of Javon. So like, can we give a round of applause to Javon for that? That alone, and not to mention how much how much he's just turned around this organization since, um, since he's taken over, uh, what was it, August? It, you took over in August. Uh, we officially got elected in September, at the end of September. This is our first event. Come, please come back for our next event, which is also the brainchild of, uh, of Javon on November 1st. We're going to have a, um, a pre-election day event. So please keep an eye out on our, on our social media you know, feeds for what's coming up next. Um, if you are not already in contact with your local Democratic, or rather your local Young Dems chapter, please let us know. We'd be happy to welcome you into the FAN. Um, we are definitely doing a, a, a bit of a, a reorganization, um, but we are, are always welcoming to anyone who's coming and that's new. Um, so feel free to reach out to myself, Javon, Steph, Seamus, yes, all of you, I'm, I'm shouting all y'all out because I'm not gonna be the only one. <laughs> Um, and we'd be happy to just uh, to connect you with who, whoever you'd need. Um, once again, thank you very much to the Young Professionals uh, for Biden-Harris team uh, for helping us out. This is not going to be our only event that we're going to be doing in terms of phone banking and such and going into the future. So please keep an eye out um, for our, our events calendar. Seamus, if you can drop that in the chat as well. Um, if you guys do have an event that you would like to add that either your your county chapter is doing or that 
your uh, campaign you're working for is doing or any organization that you feel really um, uh, charged about is doing, please add, add it to our events calendar. So this way we can get more young Dems involved on it. Um, it's definitely, uh, it, it's definitely, I think we had a, an event every day for this month, right? If I'm not mistaken, Seamus, you should know. <laughs> Uh, at one point we did actually, so we're just about to get through that. So everyone, if you have an event, you know, put the link in the chat. Go ahead. Um, but yes, no, please add uh, add the event and welcome to the fam. So thank you so much for everyone who made calls this morning. I hope you did enjoy this uh, award ceremony and DOTV rally. And do not forget that this Saturday is going to be the first day of early voting in New York State. Okay. So if you guys do not know yet where you can go to vote, uh, please go to IWillVote.com um, slash NY and you should be able to uh, find out what your local uh, polling place is, um, where your local place that you can go to to uh, drop your early voting in. Um, and if you would like to, obviously with social distancing um, in place because we do believe in science and masks are gonna save lives. So um, please let, people know, um, anyone that's around you uh, to go out and vote uh, starting early, because uh, the earlier we get the votes in, the earlier we can get this ass hat out, right? Um, so thank you very much for everybody for coming out and making calls and, and joining us tonight. And thank you so much to all the uh, awardees for all of your hard work. Big round of applause for everybody. <laughs> and I think that's, uh, that's about it. That's, that's how I'm gonna end it. All right, no net, stay woke, be good guys. 15 days, y'all. We're almost done. Yeah, here we go. In three. Until 2021. One. Close it out, Seamus. Oh. That was a really bad try to get.